Okay, so since we just finished a deep dive on Jack the Ripper, today we're going to do another fun reading where we're going to see if, hypothetically speaking, you were attacked by Jack the Ripper, if you could have survived. Many people tell me that they think they could have took Jack. <laughs> they thought Jack was sweet looking. I'm like, okay, okay. So we pulled some cards on it to see how many of us, including myself, would the Ripper have taken out of here. Okay. My name is Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Asking Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please pass it on to anyone and everyone who might want to play along too. Please drop us a positive comment in the comment section. And if you would like to get a personal private reading done, please email me or hit me up on social media. I will be glad to put you on the list for a reading. Uh, let's see if you would like to give a donation to the channel my PayPal and my cash app are underneath this video If you would like to get some Ask an Aquarius merchandise that link is underneath this video If you want to join us on patreon and see my mystery videos a week before Everybody else, please check out underneath this video I'll also post the links to all the decks that I'm going to use to do this reading. Okay. All right guys, so the first one that's here I want you to take a look at this first, right? Because we're not going to pull these first. But these are the piles that are going to give us our answer. So what I want you to do is pick your pile. Are you in one, pile two, or pile three? First thing, pick your pile. You might want to pause the video or do whatever you got to do to be able to pick your pile. All right, now let me get... We're going to start. So what we're going to start with, let me get these in order because we're going to start is this one. I'm going to put mine to the side because I'm going to do mine last. Okay. I'm definitely going to do yours first. So I have these, this, and this. Okay. We're going to do power one first. So the question is, we're going to do your weaknesses and we're going to do your strengths. Okay. So it says here, let me see. This card here, power one, that's your strength. Your strength is that if, okay, so we know that Jack was a serial killer, right? If a serial killer attacks you, it's not just a physical battle of, you know, who can get the upper hand physically. That is a large part of it, but that's also mental. So it says here that power one, you're the kind of people who you can use your mental, you can focus your mind, okay? Battle of the wills, so to speak. So you're in this death battle with this serial killer, you know, and you're fighting back and forth and you're able to mentally psych them out to get the upper hand to escape or kill them or whatever it is you're going to do to be able to not get got. <laughs> okay. That is your strength. And that's really an awesome strength to have. Um, because you do have that strength. This means that you're somebody who uh, would be able to use that and be able to do what you got to do. So that's awesome. You'd be able to win the battle of the wits. Pile two. Here's your strength right here. You're somebody who has a lot of courage, they told me in this card. And you're also somebody who has endless possibilities. Pile 2 has endless ways they can get out of this. They can kill Jack. They can escape Jack. They can outthink Jack. They have countless ways they can do it. So Pile 2, you got some, that's a real good strength right there. So that's a good thing. They're telling us that you have multiple ways that you could potentially get out of this. So some of you are going to be really strong. Some of you are going to be able to fight good. Some of you are going to be able to just run fast. Some of you are going to be able, like part, like one over here, you're just really, really smart. And you're able to outwit, outthink the killer. So you guys are... You know, you got a pretty decent one there. 
and this one is for pile three pile three this one says you're somebody who has very good self-care this is self-preservation so you're the kind of person who even if you're not a very like aggressive person you're still somebody who they say is going to protect themselves um you're going to find it deep down inside somewhere <laughs> you know you are definitely going to find that energy inside of yourself and you are going to fight back and you are going to win and here is my strength. My strength was interesting to me. I didn't really expect it because I do know how to fight. So I was thinking maybe they would be talking about that. But they're not talking about that. They're saying it's my energy. And they're saying that in general, I'm not the kind of person. The way that everything that comes to you, good or bad, comes based on your energy. Law of attraction theory. So what they're telling me here is that my energy is such that it would be less it would be less likely I would even attract a person like this. Now we all could attract a madman or a mad woman, you know, but it's just less likely because of my energy that I would, you know, attract someone that would be trying to harm me in this way. Now, that's not to say I've never attracted somebody who tried to harm me. That would not be true. But it's just saying that it's less likely. And if I did attract someone like this, it's more likely that I will be able to kill them. Bloodshed. I will be able to kill them before they killed me. Um, that makes sense to me. Because you know how you watch a horror movie and you be watching them. You're like, do it. Shut them. You know, that's me. So, <laughs> so I definitely believe that I will be able to do something before I got got. So that makes perfect perfect sense now we're going to deal with our weaknesses power one your weakness is that you would be out that time of night some of you aren't night owls and you probably thinking to yourself i don't even go to the club well some of y'all will be at work because it says here that some of you would pick place um financial gain over your actual um everything spiritual insight in this case but also over your safety so some of you got the lantern in your hand will be out at night the owl in your hand and basically it'll be for work so some of you will be coming home from the night shift you know you just got finished working 3 to 11 you know or something like that 12 to 12 you know so some of you the problem would be that you would be just susceptible because you were outside during the time that jack was hunting Hunt, Jack mostly hunted at night so you would be outside those of you who work in those kind of professions um there was a time when I worked 11 to 7 and I would have been outside patrolling I was a security officer so I would have been out patrolling around one o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the morning you know and those are prime time so that would have if I was in this pile which thank god I'm not that could have been that kind of situation so those of you in power one you will be out trying to make money. Uh, some of you, it could be work. Some of you, it could be illegal money. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're into, you know. But some of y'all will be trying to get that guap. And that was what's going to get you got. That is your weakness. Uh, pile 2, your weakness is actually kind of interesting. It says you're a rescuer. So if you got got, it would be because you were trying to help somebody else. You would be trying to rescue probably a damsel in distress or somebody like that. You know, maybe a kid, you know, like maybe you saw him attack someone else and you were trying to help. So your only weakness is that you're the kind of person that might get harmed trying to help someone else. If you were walking down the street and you saw Jack cutting up a... A person, you know, one of these people that he murdered, you would more than likely be the kind of person that would either try to tell somebody, that try to yell, to try to stop him, maybe even before you thought about it. And that's the one thing that could be problematic. And pile three, see, check out pile three. It says right here, pile three going to be trying to communicate with Jack. He's going to be trying to talk. You don't have to do this. Well, you know, put the knife down, you know. <laughs> you know, pile three, some of y'all going to be trying to wrap your way out of it. And that's not a bad thing, but Jack isn't the kind of killer that you can reason with. Some killers you can reason with. I've seen it happen, you know, on the big screen. But think about Jason. Think about Freddy. Think about Michael Myers. You cannot reason with them. So some of you will be trying to reason with Jack and... And that will give him plenty of time to stab you. <laughs> that will give him plenty of time to get you because you were trying to reason with him and communicate with him. And some of y'all are into psychology. Y'all be trying to understand them. And oh, you know, Jack, I, I get, you know, that mm -mm, none of that's going to work here. He's brute force. It's not going to work. 
and me. I basically, my weakness is, is that I would be seeking to find out who Jack was. And this is true because I'm seeking. <laughs> I saw it just the other day when I did the video. So in real life, if I was in this time period, I would be probably a journalist or a detective or uh, somebody who was just trying to find out who the killer was, which would then make me a perfect object. Once the killer found that I was looking for him or heard me or saw me or whatever the case was. Because remember, um, if you saw the video where I did about Jack the Ripper, they said Jack had people eyes and ears so somebody would find out that I was thirsting for this wisdom thirsting for this knowledge and that would lead Jack right to my front door and that would definitely be a problem because you don't want Jack at the front door <laughs> okay so these are our strengths and our weaknesses now let's see I'm gonna remove all of our strengths and weaknesses and we're going to see, let me, let me move this, the final card. And the final card is the final outcome. Let me just move these out your way. Okay, I got my final outcome too. So this is once and for all, who would have actually made it? Let's look at power one. Power one, you would not have made it. Your card is reversed. Reverse cards, especially the lovers, yeah, y'all wouldn't have made it. So, that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. It is what it is. You know, we already know what your weakness was. And that weakness must have been just enough to get you got. Pile two, you would have made it. You are a knight of cups. So, that means you would have enough bravery. You would have enough stamina. You would have enough energy to be able to fight off Jack. Um, remember I talked about you being a rescuer so if you did try to rescue somebody you probably would actually be successful so you more than likely would save yourself and someone else good job pile two that's a real good job pile three you got the seven of swords pile three they're saying you're sneaky they say, they say some of y'all sneaky some of y'all just crafty some of y'all just really smart the swords is the intellect so this card is telling us that some of y'all will be able to get away so uh, yes your card is in the upright it is a definite yes so pile three you would be able to uh fight him off you got all them swords in your hand so you would be able to fight him off or you would be able to outthink him and you would be able to escape so that's pretty decent and last but not least is me. I got the Knight of Swords. It says here I would be able to succeed as well and I would outthink Jack. So remember I was seeking the wisdom, right? I would probably figure out who Jack was and turn him into the cops. So thereby saving myself before he had an opportunity to plan an attack on me. So, yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I didn't think I, I didn't think I personally was going to make it, to be honest with you, because I was like, I could fight. And I'm, you know, I'm not the kind of person that's no punk, but a, a full grown serial killer. Like, come on. And of course, in, in certain cases, I might not have made it. But in this case, it says that I would have been able to outthink him. And I got a sword in my hand, too. So I'll think him, I'll fight him, whatever I had to do. And that's how I am. I do whatever I got to do. <laughs> whatever I got to do to survive. So that's exactly what would have happened. So let me know in the comment section. Are you one of the lucky ones that would have made it with me? Or are you one of the ones that would have perished at the other end of the Ripper's Blade? <laughs> I hope none of us ever find out. I hope none of us ever have a serial killer. Uh, even notice us. <laughs> even even smell us. You know, even be in our direction. Now, statistically speaking, we probably all have come across one in our lifetime. But let's not sleep thinking about that. Alright, guys. You come back soon. And um, I'll do some more fun stuff with you. I got a lot more to say. See you later.